Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Terrific Tuesday. It's Terrific Tuesday. Shoot, what better reason to wake up and get after it? Back home. Let's go. What better reason to get up and get after it? It's Terrific Tuesday. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's go. Welcome to the morning cup of coffee. Let's go. I'm chasing my dream. Let's go. Good morning, people. Terrific Tuesday. Another blessed day. <laughs> we woke up. We, Denisha, let's go. Good morning, girl. We woke up. We living. We alive. Humbled by it. It was not promised to us on today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you with the morning cup of coffee. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Lori, good morning, Jessica, Denisha. Let's get this day started, man. I got a long one ahead of me, but I ain't gonna lie to you. Let's go. I get to do it. I get the privilege. I get the privilege of doing it. I sure do. Let's go. Good morning, man. Terrific Tuesday, man. No place I'd rather be. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get here. I'm going to do some work on those t-shirts today. I'll do my very best to get them up. You know, I'm not too computer savvy, but I've been working on it. I'm trying to get it done. I'm trying to become self-sufficient. You know, when it comes to all things, you know, technology, the website, uh, my website, uh, the mailing list, uh, everything is trying to become completely self-sufficient. And so I'll work on, on those t-shirts today to work. We got to get those things on the market. We definitely got to get those things on the market. We got to get those t-shirts on the market. Uh-oh. Yeah, we got to get those teachers on the morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Cup of Coffee with George Truly, man. Mr. J.R. Coble himself, a.k.a. Gail's son, a.k.a. God's Child, a.k.a. Willie Jean's boy, a.k.a. Warner Jr., a.k.a. Mr. A.k.a. Call me whatever you want to call me. Just call me and I'll be there. That's a promise. Again, welcome to the Morning Cup of Coffee. I want to thank everybody for coming in. I want to thank everyone for all their support. Good morning, Shaky. I haven't seen you in a while, girl. Where you been? Uh... Just thank everybody for uh, for their support and and their love and their prayers. You know, I just want to be. Uh, it's, it's been a blessing to be a part of you guys' life, and uh, I can't wait for us to reach our year anniversary, and uh, we will celebrate that in a, in a beautiful fashion. So we're working on that. It's not yet, but it's coming. I just look forward to that day. To be completely honest with you, to be able to say that we've been doing the morning cup of coffee for a year consistently. Uh, changing lives one life at a time, changing mindsets one mind at a time, uh, and changing uh, 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 thought processes, you know, that's, and that's the goal. The goal at the Morning Cup of Coffee is to change the way you think, believe, and move, and act. Uh, not only when you add that to strength and comfort and encourage you, and ultimately that's my goal every day of my life when I wake up Monday through Friday is to reach out to you, strengthen you, comfort you, and encourage you on top of trying to change the way you think, change the way that you live, you know, to give you a better mind state, uh, a stronger mind state, to build a uh, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, financial wealth. We should all live in this state, and it's a state that's accomplishable by each, each and every each and every individual that's on here. Uh, we, there's nothing that I that I have that you don't have. I have the Almighty God, and as do you. And as long as you have Christ, the Word of God said this: that there is nothing. I can do, it says this, let me let me say this one first. First, it says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And if I have that, you have that. So anything that you put your mind to, you can do. Good morning, Miss Love. Thank you for joining me on a cup of coffee. And so that's my goal is to strengthen, comfort, and encourage you. And uh, to let you know that there, that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, no matter what that is. No matter what that is. Good morning, Lisa. Welcome to the morning cup of coffee. Good to see you. Um, Teresa, good to see you as well. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about three words. I'm going to talk to you about three words, and those three words is are is um, it's pretty much the pith of what I've been dealing with, uh, the last three or four weeks of my life. I've been dealing with re being redeemed, 
being <laughs> oh my god being restored I'm going to stop right there and I'll come back and get the other one. So I saw a message the other day. I'll come back and get the other one. Um, I saw a message the other day about being redeemed. To be redeemed is a beautiful thing because to be redeemed, for you to be redeemed. Good morning, Shantae. <clears throat> Welcome to the morning cup of coffee, baby. I miss you. You need to call me too, man. Hey, so to be redeemed, um, for you to redeem something, is something that you already had. It's something that you already had. Uh, the pastor said it this way. He says that whenever you would go, you remember a long time ago, this is for all you old heads, they had those book of stamps and you could fill those stamps up in that little green book and then when it got full, you could go redeem it for something. Right? <laughs> Let it rip if you remember that, <laughs> Miss Westmoreland. <laughs> Me and you remember that. A lot of people don't remember that. But you could go redeem it. But what it's saying is that to redeem something, it's something that you were already in possession of. Denisha, it was something that was already yours, Vicky. It was something that already belonged to you. All you did is you took it and then you're going to redeem it. He told a story about a young kid who lost a dog. Good morning, Dion. Appreciate you, bro, for coming in. Good morning, Tioka. He told a story about a young kid who lost a dog. And the dog had been gone. It was actually his dog. It was the pastor's dog. The dog had been gone for three weeks and he swore that the dog was just gone forever. He would never see his, his dog again. And finally, an old man called their telephone and he asked to speak with the, with the, with the, with the young kid because the kid had placed up all these, 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 um, these, uh, yeah, the S and A's green stamps. You better know it. The kid had, had posted up. These. Our connection was struggling. The kid had posted up flyers all over the, all over the, 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 the neighborhood about this missing dog. And so finally, an old man calls him and he says, and, and the pastor says this, he says, the, the, the guy says, Hey, Sonny. No, he, uh, 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 what did he call him? Something. Hey, Sonny, you ready to come redeem your dog? To do that, you'll need to be online. Are you ready to come redeem your dog? The, and and, and he, he said he never forgot the fact that the old man used the word redeem because redeem has to insinuate that there's something that you already have. God has given us something from birth. God has given us his son. And he's doing his very best. He will redeem us. If you allow him to, he will redeem you. And then he will restore you. Because after you've been redeemed, then you can be restored back to your proper position. He had to go redeem the dog. Right? And then after he redeemed the dog, he took the dog where? He took the dog home and restored the dog back to its proper position. A lot of us need to be redeemed by God. You need to allow yourself to be redeemed by God so that you can be restored. You're waiting on your restoration, but you haven't been redeemed yet. Somebody talk to me. How can you be restored if you haven't been gathered? If I, if I leave my cup at your house, and I want to re restore it back to its proper position into my cupboard, I have to first go redeem it. Jesus' death is buying us back. Yes, it is. But Jeff, it has to be received, brother. It's there. It's there. But how do you get it, Jeff? You have to receive it so that you may be redeemed. You have to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. And then after you have done that, the redeeming process takes place. The restoration will take place. We're wondering why we haven't been restored. And the reason why we haven't been restored is because we're struggling with being redeemed. We're struggling with being redeemed. You have to receive it. After you can fill that book of stamps up, if you leave it in the drawer, it's worth nothing. But if you take it into that local store, if you take it in the Glens, I don't know how many of my Amarillo people out there, you take it in the Glens or s and Y'all don't remember no Glens. <laughs> 
all my people all over the world, man. Glenn's was an old grocery store that we had growing up. Glenn's was the place. This is how old Glenn's was. And, and, and this is how old school he was, even when I was a boy. And I'm not that old. To be honest with you, I'm not that old. You can still go in and get stuff from, from Glenn on credit, man. Good old man. Oh, quickly. Uh, 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 Minnie Bowser, TJ Albright. What's up, brother? It's one of my best friends in the world. Hey, Minnie Bowser has turned 100 years old. Can everybody let it rip and put a birthday cake? My bus stop, you're right. Can everybody just say happy birthday to Minnie Bowser? Uh, she turned 100 years old. God bless her soul. And we just want to celebrate her life today, man. Thank you guys for uh, just let it rip for her. Somebody put happy birthday or HB or something in the chats just so that we can honor her on today. She turned 100 years old. She, um, she's she been a large part of my life for a long, long time. And, and for the listeners in Amarillo, Texas, uh, a lot of you know Minnie Bowser, Chris Bowser, uh, 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 um, Mark Bowser, Calandra Bowser. Like, these are beautiful people in my life. That's your big mama. Stay behind it, right? Oh, she, she stayed behind Glenn. Yeah, let's, uh, let's give uh, 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 Minnie Bowser a happy birthday, man. We'd appreciate that. If you if you see her post on Facebook today, 100 years young, uh, send her, her a happy birthday wish, wish and a prayer. And uh, I would appreciate that. She was a, a very, very influential part of my life. She was a strong part of my life, and I consider her family even into this day. Um. The other word I'm thinking about hanging on to it until tomorrow. So I believe that we'll only deal and, and, and I want to create that mystery for you. So today we'll only deal with being uh, 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 redeemed and restored. I appreciate you guys sending her that happy birthday, man. What a blessing. Yeah, 100 years old, Minnie Bowser. But there is a redeeming process and, and, the, and the redeeming process is it says that God will leave the 99 to go get the one. It says that he will leave the 99 to go redeem the one. Ultimately, it's trying to show you the importance of you. Now, now, now check this out. Listen how the Bible, listen how the Bible kind of plays games with you. God is everywhere at every time. So he could leave all of us and go get all of us and be with all of us at the same time. <laughs> See, so you gotta, you gotta be paying attention. Well, he'll leave the ninety nine, mm -hmm, and he'll get to go and go get the one. But the ninety nine, really, when you think about it, they're all set up individually. So if one goes over here and one goes over there, the God that we serve, he could go get them both individually at the same time, omnipresent. <laughs> Let's think about this. I'm telling you. At the same time, at the same time, y'all know what it is, future. He go get you, he go get me at the same, <laughs> for real. Wrap your mind around it. An omnipresent God, Shante, as, as you strayed yesterday and as I strayed yesterday, he chased you down at the exact same time he was chasing me down. Not saying that that's what took place, but for example, at the same time. Everywhere at once as it was lightning and thundering was crashing last night. I just chuckled to myself thinking, man, what a, what a mighty God. What a mighty God. To be honest with you, <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. So I'm in an apartment. I'm in my apartment alone. And the first night I'm alone, it's a thunderstorm. It's a tornado. And I'm thinking to myself, man. And as I start to listen to that, to that thunder, and it was it was it was amazing. It was and I was thinking to myself, that's just an almighty God, man. And I slept like a baby. That's just an almighty God. Grab laid back, kept on reading my book. Yeah, it's just an almighty God, man. Who read <laughs> The first 10, 15 minutes, I was thinking, oh, man, <laughs> what, what the, what in the what, <laughs> why? <laughs> and then after I started to just think about the situation and what exactly was transpiring outside, that, that people try to explain it, and they do explain it by the grace of God, how lightning takes place, but ultimately I know that it is the handwork of God. It's the handwork of an almighty, omnipresent. God. I was like, work. Work. 
work. Almighty God, man. Moving in, 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 in the most wondrous and magnificent of ways. Work moving in the most wondrous and magnificent ways. Speaking to us in so many different ways. Like that, that spoke to me last night. God, what a mighty God. Working to redeem us and then restore us. If only we were to receive it, to be redeemed, to be brought back to where we came from and then to be restored to our proper position and place in life and in, and, 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 and in the spirit realm as well. Good morning, Debbie. There's nothing like restoration. I've been restored. You talk about someone who did a, 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 a decades in prison to be restored. There's no feeling like it. Denisha, there's no feeling like being a, a, a pull from the outside of the, the inside of those gates and placed back in the home with my mother and my children, my sisters and my dad. I've been restored in a physical realm. Think about the restoration that takes place in a spiritual realm for each and every vendor, each and every individual. It's there. Shantae, nothing like it. It's nothing like it. I remember walking out of those gates toward my restoration. I remember walking out of those gates toward my restoration. Barely made it. Because as soon as you come out those gates and you see your people standing there, for, for those of us who were blessed enough to have people standing outside the gates who have driven hundreds of miles. My cousin Ricky Malone, my Aunt Wanda, my mama. Seeing those people there, it's almost crippling. Walking toward restoration, it's almost crippling. It will, it will, it'll bring you to your knees, literally. And the God of all wants to restore us. Christ came for our restoration. He was nailed to a cross for our restoration so that we can have right standing again with God. Yes, he does hide us in the cleft of a rock, Jeff. Good word, brother. Easter took place for our restoration. You know, there was bloodshed to have right standing. Good morning, December. Miss King. So we have to understand that, after, that, that there is a redeeming process and that we need to be redeemed. We need to be claimed again. And he's claiming us. We need to accept that. We need to receive that. Be receptive to that. And then we need to understand that there is a restoration. And inside of that restoration, he will replace you back to the situation. See, okay, so it's twofold real, really quickly before I go. Restoration, it'll take place physically as well as spiritually. Right? So, those of us who live in the spirit, we would desire, follow me. We would, we would desire to be restored spiritually and let that transform or let that be transmitted into a physical realm. Let that first you take place that restoration spiritually and after you do, it will show itself in the physical realm. A lot of people want to be restored physically and then have it come spiritually. Mm -mm. There's no roots. Good morning, Austin. There's no roots. When you get restored on the inside first and then it starts to manifest itself in the physical realm, now you got roots. You good, Yolanda. I appreciate you tapping in. Now you got roots. So you need this restoration to take place on the inside. You need to change the way you think and on the inside, the way that you believe in on the inside. And if you change that, those things will start to manifest themselves. In the physical realm. And now it has a root to it. He's given us the keys. Now it has roots. There's trees that, 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 that'll snap right here because the roots are so deep that that bottom part of that tree will just not come out of the ground. Why does the word of God says that he will be like a tree planted by the waters? 
What about that old hymn? I shall not, I shall not be moved. Oh, I shall not, and I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the waters. I shall not be moved from the inside out because that's where our roots come from. Restore me. Hashtag restore me if you want it. Drop that in the chat. It's a good one, December King. Hashtag restore me. Restore me, oh God. Because, <laughs> and you have to realize that once you get that restoration spiritually, restoration spiritually pretty much e equates to a right standing with God. It lets you know that, that you have received Christ in your life and that you believed him to be your savior and king. Now, you're righteous before God. Not nothing that you did. You ain't walking around here. Oh, holy shit. You know, it's not what's happening because you can't earn it. Neither one of us can. Now one of us can. I'm going to say that country. Now. Ain't no now another one. Now one of us can, 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 can earn righteousness. But through Christ, we have a righteousness. We have his righteousness. That's why you need to be restored from the inside out. Restore me. Restore me. That's why you have to get that thing from the inside and let it manifest itself to the rest of these people. <laughs> so that you'll have roots. So that you won't be so easily shaken. I shall not, I shall not be moved. Oh, I shall not, oh, I shall not be moved just like a tree. It's planted by the waters. Yeah. That's what. Restore me from the inside out. From the inside out. From the inside out. There has to be a restoration that takes place. God is waiting and ready to redeem you. And then he's re waiting and he's ready to restore you back to your proper place. And we are kings and queens. Priest, warriors, prayer warriors. I know people, and, I, and I'm not one of those people, but man, I, yes, I am. Business owners, because it takes place on the inside and then it comes out. We're mothers, we're fathers, we're wives and husbands. We're brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles. We're moguls. Huh? We're moguls. We're millionaires. So I'm talking to a millionaire right now. You better get restored on the inside of you and let it come out on the outside of you because if you don't get it on the inside, however much money you come up on, it won't last. Nor will it save your soul. That part. That part. Let me get out of here, man. I love you people. I really want to go a little bit longer, but I got I got a few I got I got a lot to do today. I got a lot. Man, this day has started at 5:15, 5:30 for me, and it won't end. Yeah, claim it. And then work for it. Yeah. That part. And it won't end for me until probably 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. So y'all pray for my strength. <laughs> y'all pray for my strength in the Lord. I'm gonna try to get those shirts. I'm not going to try. I'm gonna get those shirts on the website. Listen, and when I get those shirts on that website, y'all better go get them, man. Faith is greater than fear. God point of view. Go listen to the podcast on Apple Podcasts. Go stream the podcast on Spotify. Share it with your friends and your families. Put it on your Facebook. Let people know what we stand for and what we do and who we are and what God does and who he is. <laughs> Period. It's 23 of us. We should, we'll have 10, we'll have four shares and we should have 23. Just saying. Keep it real, Jay. Keep it real. We should have 23. Have a great day, Shantae. I love you. We should have 23. I love you, Shaking. There go two shares right there off the rip. It's supposed to be all over the continent, man. 
Before before we get to anniversary one, we supposed to be at least in two, three countries. Y'all believe it if y'all want to. If not, watch. I believe for all of us. But boy, think about it. If we all believe the same way. Do you know what? I'm going to tell you guys this. Do you know that we're just the groundwork? These, these faithful 21, 22, 30, 40 people that come on in the morning. We're just the groundwork. We're just the groundwork, man. We're just workers. God going to do what he going to do, but we're just the workers. It's up to you to do the work. It's... <laughs> Hootie 3000. Don't make me change my name, girl, for real. I'm going to add that to my AKA. Gail Son, God Child, AKA Hootie 3000. Don't make me change my name, girl. But we're just the ground workers. We're just ants. We're just the ants. He's going to do what he's going to do. We're just ants. And you know what ants do? They don't even have to be told, but they work. They work diligently. And then it shows off in the long run. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Be blessed on today. Please do me a favor and do something good for someone. Please do that. And uh, it's easy. Go first.